Hello friends, welcome to our channel Live in Germany uh, once again. So this video is part, uh, the second part of the series What Stuff to Buy in India. And today we are going to talk about the vessels and I'm just going to start with the basic list. So before you uh, watch the video, please make sure to click on the subscribe button taking this extra second so that I can support more people and this motivates me a lot. So. First of all, before going to the list, uh, I'll put the list and this is also available on the blog. So you can read it uh, Aram say. So the first thing is, whatever vessel you buy, make sure you buy it with the flat bottom and not the curved ones. So normally we have the curved ones in India and also the flat ones. So we use at home the curved ones because we have gas stoves. Uh, here also there are a few places where you can get gas stoves. But if you know which type of uh, stove your house is going to have, it's okay. If not, always buy a flat bottom. It's the best option. Or ask for induction based out. That's also good. So the first one we're going to talk about is uh, the electric cooker. So you need a rice cooker. It can be electric or normal aluminium. So the basic weight of it is uh, around 2.5 kilograms. So that's an average based on the size. If you go for a bigger size, it's definitely bigger. So using that, you can make dal or many items. So this is a basic necessity. Make sure also you buy enough gaskets like the rubber thing that's inside and also the safety wall depending on the design you need. So make sure you have that and also the, the pressure thing which you put on the top. So the weight I mean. So buy enough of that as backup in case something happens you can replace the gasket because you don't find it here as far as I know personally. So the next one is the uh, kadai or non-stick. If you are a chapati lover or dosa lover. It doesn't matter, still you need a kadai to make that, so make sure you buy one. It comes average 2 kilograms of weight. I know it's heavy, but it's worth it because it will be very handy. So buy it and also make sure it's flat bottom if possible or as much as possible. Next is uh, a pan to cook. So pan to cook depends on what size you uh, want your pan to be. The smaller ones could be less. I put uh, an average size, it comes around 2 kilograms like non-sticking. Uh, heavy bottom so it's not like the thin bottom ones so heat is uh, dissipated or distributed equally so such pans comes around 2 kilograms or 2.5 kilograms so next one is larder so once you're cooked every stuff you need something to pour it out so larder the standard one is 150 grams so I put two numbers basic requirement so 300 grams so the next is a cup or a lunchbox. It might sound funny. Why do we have to bring a cup on a lunchbox from India? So when you're coming here and then the first week itself you need to join uh, your studies. Uh, you can't run around to find a lunchbox. So this is especially useful if you're somebody who likes to cook and take your food. Or uh, especially for those who are vegetarian and you want to make sure you're eating vegetarian. I would suggest personally on the first stage to bring a lunchbox and prepare your food because uh, we don't when you're not so good in German you don't know like what they have mixed on the food so please just take it as a as a recommendation and not like some kind of uh, uh, what do you call it defined thing but just as a recommendation for you guys and next is a plate of course you need an eating plate for sure that's 100 grams and next is most important two stuffs I put one is the chapati uh, thing so when you want to roll you need a pin and a, and a flat plane so you bring a wooden one I know it sounds funny that you don't even get that in Germany, but yeah, unfortunately, no, uh, you get it very costly. So buy the ones which you feel comfortable, practice, ask your mom or sister or somebody to teach you boys and girls also, please do make sure you learn it. Just an idea because it, it's very handy here and helpful and keeps you healthy also. So the next one is coffee for coffee lovers. If you're one of them, you need a special jug to make your tea or coffee because if you make coffee in another thing in which you cook uh, normal food items, the milk gets decayed. So if you're okay with microwave and heating milk in microwave, it's fine. If not, then please do buy it. So everything put together comes around 8.5 kilograms. So I know it's a lot, but uh, I added only the basic items. So let's see uh, what else you need. Please put on comments if anybody has a uh, different idea. The weights will vary, so I'm not sure if it's the right. I can only put an average. So the next part of the video we're going to look is about the food. So you have the clothes and the vessels and next is the food. So please do stay subscribed and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye.